If no man's got on your nerves, then you, you got to change something. If you're tired of being mediocre, you got to change something. You know, now, Everybody, Everybody has to determine what their own normal is. Normal, normal for me is going to be different from you. Normal for you, normal for you is different from me. But what should determine what normal is for you? And you ain't like carry that no more? You got to do this song, man. Because that, that shit on your nerves. Man, man, okay. was driving me crazy. And it started when I was homeless, man. You just push me. Because I was sick of being poor. I'm going to just be honest with you. Poverty, I, I was sick of it. Because of the head, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about poverty, but I don't care about my nerves. And homeless is a whole nother level of poverty. I'm in a bathroom, a bedroom, a back door, a TV, a phone. You know, I was on that head, but it wasn't no cell phone today. Wrapped the mind around that. So I ain't got no phone, I ain't got no backyard. Man, I said, hold up. And I just, that, that, but that, I ain't trying to push that pushed me towards my feet. My mama's son is to push me back to what she was trying to teach me. I went up back to that, then I start turning the curve. Because I, I was my faith, man. I thought, God don't listen. He was listening. I just want to ask him. I just try to figure it out myself. I changed that, man. He changed my whole life. God is amazing, man. If you come to him, he always has you. He's always available. He ain't never too busy. That's the cold thing about him. And he was available for me the whole time. He just, I was checking in with him. God ain't turned his back on you. You walk away from him. He always is there. I got stupid. I was turning away from him. When I turned around and started talking to him, I just started dealing with him. I said, if you let me make it, when I get down my chair, what about you? So guess what? You just asked me about it. Did I just tell you about it? You got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's why you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get a body. Look, I love the sugar coat this thing for you. I love to tell you, if you go out here and get rich, do a couple of things that ain't may happen. You got to get real dogs. You got to get down on the funk if you want to make it. Now, like I was saying before, if you want to be out there, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's, problem. it's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you don't have to do extra. You put extra on top of extra on ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry. But well, here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you're willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. You live 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in that life and wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They're already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep. The Bible says he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. He who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. I'm going to ask you one question, I'm going to go. How many of you in here know somebody who loves to sleep? Who knows somebody that loves to sleep? Let me ask you something. Ain't they punk?